Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. Em, you are seriously damaging my flow by being such a downer. Either get on my side or get out of here. I'm just being realistic. If you really think you can get all the teams to not fight each other, then go right ahead. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow we have to stand up to the old builders, together! Um, actually, I think you mean the gladiators. They're the ones that keep kicking our butts in the games. Uh... Actually, actually, the gladiators work for the old builders, and they never want us to be able to win. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Yeah, no one really wins these games. <laughs> but we can beat the old builders. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! It's true. Any one of those gladiators could probably beat any of us to a pulp one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But there's no way they'd be able to do that if we all tried to fight them at once. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. 
You can do it! You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free! Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <laughs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The, it's walls. the walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will. Judge you for it. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> scared. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what I get for being honest. Bevia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh, gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Tick dog. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevia? What do you mean, Hadrian? I mean, some choices take you places, others get you. Yep, not just dirt. dirt. If I didn't convince gravel. people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. <laughs> Just dirt. Come on! Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do, actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh. This should be interesting. There. 
Predators are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill.